welcome to Ladies Lounge on Vox Africa. Uh, we're here today, we're home as usual, and we're coming to you with a very interesting topic. Uh, but before we start, I want to say hello to my girls. Cordelia, I haven't seen you for ages. How are you doing? You're looking I so know. beautiful. Oh, and so are you. I mean, I've been following you guys and watching everything that you do, or well, most, of, most of it. And um, um, the lockdown hasn't been that easy as it is for everybody else, but it's been particularly tough. I'm glad that it's kind of ease at the moment. I'm really excited to see you all. I miss you guys. And you tell her everybody, everyone looking to see you and great as usual. Hello. Well, come back. We really missed you on the show. Thank you. <laughs> um, Thank you. Yeah. Doctor, you're looking beautiful as always. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you, Stephanie. You're looking beautiful as well. Thank and you. And Cordelia and Tafara. It's great Thank to see you all again. Thank it's you. been good. It's been a good week. <laughs> it, has, it has been indeed. But today, we're talking about a very interesting topic about mm -hmm. fashion and about plus size models. So a lady who was about 300 pounds and she was on the cover of a big um, UK tabloid. So I wanted to see what you guys think about it. Do you think, you know, supporting women that are big, are, are, we, are we trying to support like women to be proud of their body and proud of the skin they're in? Or are, are we encouraging women to sort of, to be on the big side? Um. I think there is room for um, plus size models. I mean, you see people like, there's a lady called Stephanie Yeboah. She's written a book. Um, she's a black black plus size model. Uh, she's written a book um, called Factly Ever After, um, which obviously, you know, talks about um, being a plus sized woman in that, you know, industry and people's uh, you know, their experiences. Um, she's, done a, she's done a shoot on Glamour. You know, so I, I, I think there's room for them. I think we need to accept the fact that they are proud and comfortable in their skin. Agreed. Some people are big boned as well, you know. It's not even just about weight. It's big bones as well. I, I think that's, that's a, 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 a lecture. Someone else talk. Uh, because I think I was, I was reading something. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but the, huh? uh, um, there's a comment I saw that said, this, have you ever seen a, a big bone skeleton? <laughs> a skeleton. <laughs> I don't know if that's right to say, exactly. but I know people are exactly. big bones, but <laughs> I don't what do you think? in that big because, bone yeah. thing. Uh, that big bone comment, okay, there was a time I was like size 20, 22, fat uh -huh. during marriage. And uh, I remember my neighbor, a Nigerian old lady, she kept commenting and saying that big bone thing. And it gets to a point where you start to believe it, like, all right, maybe I'm big bone. But of course I lost the weight and I got really, really skinny. I remember going to her and seeing her. And I wanted to make the point as well that I wasn't big bone. I was really fat. It was fat and oh. I was obese and um, I was unhealthy at, at the time. Uh, but when it comes to this whole issue that we're talking about, um, there are two sides to it. Um, I don't think the lady being on uh, the cover of a magazine or having... Um, Plus size models, I don't think that's kind of um, glamorizing obesity. Okay, we're not trying to play down here on um, the issues that comes with obesity. It's, it's a massive health issue. It's costing mm -hmm. the NHS an awful amount. Uh, it, 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 I mean, it causes heart disease and high blood pressure. We know, you know, what it does. Yeah. Uh, but I think... Um, the whole idea of plus size modeling is also to um, kind of challenge what we had known as the numb, which is a skinny model. And yeah, yeah. again, they come with their own health issues. You know, when those women were being um, glamorized, which they were, to be honest, because they were in the cover of all magazines, um, catwalks, you name it, they ruled the fashion um, world, and they still do. But then we, we were exposed to a lot of the issues that the models themselves suffer, you know. And I think uh, what plus size modeling is trying to do is uh, to try and, and, and represent, you know, to, to, to kind of give a more fairer representative of um, the society that we live in. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, I, I don't, of course, just because somebody is big doesn't mean they're unhealthy. And yeah. just because someone is skinny doesn't mean they're unhealthy. 
So yeah. I really uh, like to, to look at the magazine and see that woman. I think she looks gorgeous, she's absolutely beautiful. And um, it's for all of us, and especially the younger kids, to understand that, you know, we should all be comfortable in our own skin, whatever we look like. Yeah, I totally agree, Cordelia. It's, uh, mm. it's, um, it's more of um, creating a fine balance. There'll always be fat people or overweight or obese, whatever word you want to use. And there'll always be skinny or slim or whatever word you want. There'll always be a mixture of people. So it's, it's the balance. It's not mm. like, you know, anyone is avoiding the real life health issues that go with being big but mm. it's just the balance as far as mm. the modeling is concerned as far as far as you know um fashion is concerned it's the balance i think and um for anyone to trash uh, an overweight lady um sometimes it's because they're ill-informed yeah um being overweight um could be could be a reason it could be it could stem from different things right exactly, um yeah. well so you can't just you know shame someone because they're big and they're mm -hmm. they're living their life we've all said it they're trying to be comfortable if anyone is even going to lose weight it has to come from their inside yeah. and if, if they're not satisfied with who they are when they were big they'll find it difficult to lose weight yeah. because it, it's it, most of the problems with weight it's of an emotional, um, you know, it's, it's, it has to do with something that has happened to them or whatever. So it all comes from the inside, really. Uh, it's, not, it's, not a good, it's not a good place to shame um, mm. plus size people at all. And I think everyone is informed or everyone should be informed of the health implications of weight. And if yeah. you know that you are on the big side and, you know, you just take the necessary precautions, do some few exercises. And I think that one of the things Cordelia said, that it doesn't mean if you're, if you're that big, that you're big, that you're, you're still unhealthy. Some people are on the big side and they're healthy. They are quite fit, mm -hmm. they eat very well, but they are, you know, the way they are, they, you know, they can't really change it. So I believe, yeah. I, think, I, think, I believe really strongly that people should be allowed to be what they are and wear whatever they want to wear and you know do whatever they want to do and you know they shouldn't be joined. I think that's I'm gonna mm -hmm. ask, I'm gonna ask you this question. Is it right okay. then for you know for the um all these uh, tabloids to actually do that? Because I know we're we're saying yes everyone can be and I said that as well but I'll take a step back because most people the the, the look at people in the media or look at people in the magazine and they want to be like them. So for example a young 16 year old girl might see someone in the magazine and you know they aim to be like them that they are the fans of that person do you think it's right though for the tabloids to be promoting you know those sort of really big models thinking that right they so, have, so they have millions of viewers and they have mm -hmm. the old readers and those readers have are people actually looking you know look at this magazine for inspiration or, or people they actually connect to if that makes sense so do you think mm -hmm. it's right for them to promote plus size so look at it this way let's look at it this way if the magazines and you know the um so uh, in influencers and the um bloggers don't show any plus size people at all because their aim is not to influence anybody negatively how would that be what what would is it that the big people are being left out of the world so look at it that way. It's not, um, we, shouldn't sac we shouldn't crucify the media for, yeah. you know, showing plus size, plus size people, plus size model or whatever. When, when someone looks at someone and, you know, copies what they're doing, the onus is not on the person they are copying, it's on yourself. Yeah. Because you're the one wanting to be influenced by what you're looking at, right? As I said yeah. earlier, there'll always be big people and there'll always be smaller people. So no one can blame the tabloids for showing these things. So then it's not like they're encouraging. They're making money, they're doing business. They're showing people, you know, what but is it, happening they, in life. But they have a certain level of responsibility to their to the readers. I'm not saying that 
I'm not arguing for it. I'm just opening the conversation. So what is, there's what is that the responsibility, um, Stephanie? There's Maybe that that's should... the responsibility to their viewers to show, mm -hmm. um, to, to promote body positivity. I get what mm -hmm. we're saying. I get like the whole thing of, okay, if you're showing a, a big person, then you're probably trying to glamorize obesity. Mm -hmm. And the same That's way we say to show a skinny person, are you trying to glamorize uh, eating disorders? They're both eat, eating disorders. Mm -hmm. I think yes. what the whole, the, 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 we have to really uh, look at this whole thing objectively, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. Like uh, Data said, there are different kinds of people there, short, fat, da, 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 whatever. But that's not the point here. You know, the point is when it comes to health, again, it's a personal thing. You know, if somebody knows that they're not healthy, they're going to mm -hmm. do what they need to do. I mean, there are fitness magazines out there. I'm sure that magazine is not a fitness magazine for starters. If you want to see fit people, buy a fitness magazine and, and watch them. But they are trying to show people that, you know, you can look whatever you look like, whether you have vitiligo, whether you're dark, whether you're light, exactly. whether you're fat, whether exactly. you're skinny, yeah. you can yeah. still be comfortable in your own skin. And I think the reason why that is important because the contrary can be devastating. And we've all seen mm -hmm. what that does. When you're not self, um, you don't, you don't feel self confident and you, mm -hmm. you might look glam already, but if within yourself, you don't feel good, you don't think you're that good, it can be really mm -hmm. devastating. So I really applaud, um, personally, uh, the magazine for doing that. I think mm -hmm. we need to see more of that. You know, yeah. enough of seeing skinny people. We want to see all kinds of people so that everyone can have something they can look up to, an image they can um, see on TV and say, and, and kind of be able to relate to and say, ah, that person looks like me. So, you know, I'm good too. When we applaud the models though, and, you know, they get a, a lot of, you know, publicizing from what they're doing as plus size models they mm -hmm. get they paid a lot and all that i'm now wondering are we encouraging them to remain big <laughs> i must say i know that you've said before tafara that you know be, with, with people having gp they can know when they're overweight or whatever yeah. some people can be fat and not have health issues they may yeah. be I keep using the word fat, but um, I'm sorry, but that's, that's it's overweight fat, you know? Um, so they can be big and yeah. not have um, health issues and that's all true. that. But you know, um, our, our, our age, our, you know, our, our gender, mm -hmm. you know, all those things contribute to what size we should be. So yeah. when you are over that normal range, it's mm. putting a strain on the body. So even when yeah. you haven't had any, you know, um, um, visible health issues, mm. there'll be underlying ones that, you know, are there and will eventually show up. So right. that's right. why, yeah. So that's why we should be, we, we should, we should also look at it from the side of the plus size model, not we who are watching now. We who are watching yeah. can decide. But from the side of the model, are they, maybe the question is, should be, are they encouraging the models themselves to remain obese and unhealthy? Because being overweight is unhealthy. Without um, risking sounding controversial, a lot yeah. of African yeah. men could be considered fat feeders. You know, like yeah. they like their women big and they encourage them to eat more. Maybe yeah, when it I've comes to that. like glamorizing that maybe that's something we can go into and see mm -hmm. the dangers of doing that yeah. but in terms yeah. of somebody being on a magazine i don't think it's necessarily glamorizing i think what yeah. they're trying to do is just um trying to, to, to give a, a positive um outlook out there but um absolutely the issue of obesity is a serious one and i don't think anybody can can say otherwise